In this video, we will be presenting experiences of a Satipasala daughter practicing mindful walking. It was the school holidays so that I could practice mindful walking in the mornings and evenings. One day, I woke up early and started my practice. Initially, I walked up and down in the corridor I used for the practice. Then I told myself I am going to walk now. It helped my mind to be clear and allowed me to start the practice. In the next two rounds, I just noted that I am walking when I was walking. When turning, I noted that I am turning. Then. I started to pay attention to the sensations I was feeling as I kept my foot on the floor. I continued to walk about 20 steps in this manner. Afterwards, I heard a few sounds and felt a temptation to stop walking and to go and check on those sounds. I realized that I had been distracted. Next, I told myself I am now walking again. As I was keeping my foot on the floor, I started feeling sensations faster than I did before. Step after step, I felt that the heel was the first part of the foot to touch the floor and the first part to be lifted off the floor. The arch and the toes followed afterwards. I noted the weight felt by different parts of the foot as I placed my foot on the floor. The heel felt the most weight, following that the arch, and finally the toes felt the least weight. I felt this process happening continuously. When one foot went down, the other foot lifted off the ground. I then noted that this happens in a cycle. Afterwards, I realized the act we call walking happens automatically and the cycle will only stop if we stop walking. One radius. Let's have a closer look at the process that our young practitioner experienced. As we take step after step, when one foot gradually touches the ground, the other foot lifts off. There comes the point when one foot is off the ground and the other foot is entirely on the ground. At that time, the vertically aligned leg transfers the body weight down, functioning similar to the spoke of a cartwheel aligned vertically. This vertically aligned spoke, referred to as one radius, is fixed at one end to the axle and the other end to the rim. One radius transmits the weight from the cart through the section of the rim in touch with the ground. Similarly, the leg functioning as one radius transmit the body weight to the ground through the foot which acts as the rim of the cartwheel. As the wheel turns, the next spoke that aligns vertically becomes one spoke or one radius. Similarly, when we take step after step, our legs alternately take the turn to act as one radius. Step after step, Legs acting as one radius transfer the weight from one foot to the other, forming a cycle which only stops turning when we stop walking. Just as the weight transmission happens through the vertically aligned one radius, our mind aligned to the object of focus gets empowered with mindfulness. Implying this similarity, mindfulness has been referred to as one radius or ekaro in Pali. Step after step, 
we can observe in mind how our legs alternately align as a caro. By paying close attention as the foot touches the ground, we can feel the transmission of weight through different parts of the foot. As we continue in this manner, our mindfulness would become more profound, leading to greater clarity and deeper insights. Next part of this video includes further information on benefits of practicing mindful walking.